How to create a website using Webador 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope all of you are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be discussing about Webador and how you can use this amazing designing platform to create yourself a great looking website. So please do make sure to watch this video till the end to gain all the knowledge and information you can on Webador and how you can use it. Create great looking designs for yourself. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Now, to get yourself started with Webador and, you know, getting into the designing aspect of this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go in your URL tab up here and you're going to write www.websiteworldmedia.com slash Webador. Okay, you're just going to write that. You're going to enter the URL. OK, and uh, you can either do that for yourself or you can just go into the description of this video. And in the top of the description, you're going to see the same link. So just click on it and be redirected to this place over here. Now, once you're over here, obviously, you can see this great looking, you know, interface where they're going to tell you stuff, set up your own professional website today, ready to get started, design and build your website, publish your store or website or share, you know, whatever. Now. To get started, we're going to go ahead and first of all, check and talk about the pricings. Okay. Build a complete website in just 10 minutes. Okay. It's used by 121,000 small business owners optimized for Google free support and you know, all that stuff. Then you have all these things over here. You know, you have the free plan, first of all, then you have the light plan, which is $1. You have the pro plan, which is $1 as well. And you have the business plan, which is again, $1 for the first three months. Then later on, it's obviously $10 and $20 as it goes up. And you can see that all these features give you all these great things to go with. So, you know, pretty simple, pretty nice stuff. So what I'm going to do is obviously we're going to get started for free. And here you can see sign up for free. What kind of website do you want to build? OK, so here's where it gets into, you know, all that stuff. So you have website, a normal website. You know, it could be a portfolio or something like that. Then you have web shop. OK, this is your online store. This is for your e-commerce. And then you have a blog. OK, pretty basic stuff. I know. So obviously, let's go ahead with a website right now. But you can also create, again, an online store or blog. I'm going to go with a website. What's the title of your website? You can go with anything random or you can keep it blank because you can always change it later in the setting. And here is your email sign up and password. Now, I'm going to be using a temp mail for the whole sign up process. OK, now the reason I'm using a temp mail is because this is an informational video and, you know, I'm probably going to scrape this email later on. So you don't necessarily need to follow this up, you know, just add your email from your Gmail or something like that. Pretty simple stuff. And here we are. So you're going to click on that. And you're going to click get started. Now, once you click on get started here, you can see it gives you all these things. So choose a template to get started. OK. And once you do that, obviously, as you can see, you can get tons and tons of templates over here. So you have the blank Explorer business blank is obviously totally blank template. You start from scratch and stuff. Then you get all these other templates. OK. And in these templates, you can customize the color and format and easily switch the designs later on if you want to, which is a great thing to have. So let's go with a nice looking template website. I'm going to go with um, yeah, let's go with this the Hikaru. This looks gourmet, looks nice. You can also see examples of this website if you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and start with this template. So register your own domain name. You can do this right now or you can use a proper domain name provider. OK, providers can be, you know, or basic people like hosting or Bluehost, GoDaddy and all those people. OK, you can go with those providers if you want to. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do later for now. So obviously, then you're going to choose the plan. I'm going to go with the free one. And here you are into the web door editor. So these are building blocks of your website. OK, so firstly, obviously, as it says, comes the section over here. OK, you have the title and in the title, obviously, you, you can just drag and drop this. OK, as you can see, drag and drop this over here You can start adding titles. So I'm going to write new website right now. New website. OK, I'm just write something like that. Then you have texts. OK, so again, you can add different text widgets down here. Click here to add text for yourself. You know, just go ahead and add different uh, texts of details for yourself or, you know, whatever works best with uh, making your website. Then you have images. OK, now images are also a pretty important part. So obviously you can go on edit and uh, let's say we want to add a new image. Now you can either choose the stock images that they give you. Like, let's say I'm going to add this image right here okay, I'm going to click on save. And as you can see, it adds the image pretty accordingly. And you can also move sections around. OK, as so which is also a pretty cool feature. So I'm going to keep it like that. 
and uh, then you can you're gonna go on pages now here you can add different pages for yourself you know we have the home page about page contact page and then you can add new pages for yourself if you want to then you have the design section in the design section obviously you have the color formats accent colors content selections you have the astrogrand so you can obviously change these colors you know your footers and stuff pretty pretty simple pretty basic stuff you can as you can see over here change your templates as well and uh obviously once you're done with all of that obviously just come to the editor you can uh, just keep on adding more things for yourself if you want to you have interactives media structure basic you know so just accordingly go ahead and add more things more and more things for yourself pretty simple right and here you can see you can edit different pages for yourself as well drag elements and once you've done that you're going to go on this web shop page over here and over here as you can see if you have an online store you can add those things over here so first of all you have orders so view payment and information man is the status of your orders you have customers where you can overview uh your customers and their order history you can add products then you have basic configurations like payment methods because obviously for an online store you're gonna have to set up payments if you don't have payments then you don't have an online store and you have shippings and deliveries okay that's also pretty important you have taxes checkout forms confirmation emails coupons details web shop settings and much more and once you're done with all that, again, just finally go to the settings where they're going to give you, you know, just general stuff. So in general, obviously, as you can see, you can change your website name, keep a favicon. A favicon is these icons on your website. OK, keep a favicon like that. And uh, then you have the search bar. OK, you can enable that. But for that, you're going to have to go to the pro version. You have offline mode for your website, top bar, button and menu and all that. Then you have contributors, which are the people who contribute to the, the roles in your website. Here's your domains where you can use your own domain name with a pro plan if you want to. Mailboxes where you can use your own domain name with a pro plan. And you have business listings where you can increase your company's visibility. SEO, which is obviously your search engine optimization, which basically makes your page more likely to appear in the top searches, uh, you know, your Google or other search engines. And then finally, you have the advanced settings. And in the advanced settings, you're going to get stuff like, you know, redirects, breadcrumbs, HTML and head tag, Google Search Console, Link Google Analytics, and much, much more. And once you, you know, mess around with that, you're just going to click on publish, uh, choose a random domain. And once you choose a domain, as you can see, uh, this is a free website domain. You're going to choose that. And once you choose that, you're going to click on publish. And as you see, your website is published. You're going to click on this domain. And as you can see, this is the website that we created and uh yeah pre pretty nice pretty basic stuff and then obviously you can go to, to webador dashboard and as you can see this is our dashboard and here's our website and to edit this website or see its statistics you can obviously come here edit it more in depth if you want to see its statistics more in depth if you want to and yeah that's pretty much essentially it now that was pretty much it for this video so before ending let me to talk about one more important thing again so how will you redirect yourself to this website just go into your url tab right www.websiteworldmedia.com slash wix okay you're just gonna add that or go into the description go to the top of the description see the link in the top click on it and you're gonna be good to go so yeah that's basically about it for this video and if you enjoyed it please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the future let me know down in the comments below and i will make more for you so yeah, that's essentially it. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.